China and Hong Kong have had strained relations since the early 2000s, factors including different interpretations of the one country, two systems, principle, policies of the Hong Kong and central governments to encourage mainland visitors to Hong Kong and the changing economic environment in Hong Kong have contributed to the unease between the two systems. The seminar focused on China's development and the future of Hong Kong and of China as Africa's new development partner. Foreign Affairs Minister Ms. Shirley Ayokobuchi said many African countries, including Ghana, are successfully trading with China. Also, there is a lot of investment in infrastructure, making it important to ensure economic stability with China and Hong Kong. One of the cardinal principles of Ghana's foreign policy is respect for the rights of self-determination of peoples. At the same time, we believe in non-interference in the affairs of sovereign states. We also believe in the peaceful resolution of disputes within and among sovereign entities. While one cannot deny the geopolitical dimension or significance of the crisis in Hong Kong, especially considering the ongoing trade war with the United States, the fact remains that Africa's prosperity is closely linked with China's peace and stability. China's ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Zio Zhuhao, also assured Ghanaians that China will work hard to ensure that the recent development in Hong Kong does not affect trade relations with Africa, especially Ghana. China's development of its philosophy is openness, and we are pursuing a peaceful development, a road of peaceful development. And we also promote the win-win and the mutual benefit cooperation. The Institute of Economic Affairs will engage other state and non-state actors from government, academia, and the business sector in its flagship seminar on China's development and the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region in the coming months.